This woman makes sweaters out of dog hair. No, they're not itchy. And yes, they're clean. It might seem far-fetched, but Jeannie Sunk built a business out of a material most pet owners are more than happy to toss out. This is Jeannie. This is Shadow. And this is a sweater made out of Shadow's hair. Jeannie makes sweaters just like this one, and she sells them on her online store. Jeannie has a very particular set of skills. Skills she has acquired over a very long career. Skills that make her especially suited to create and market dog hair sweaters. I'm not the only person doing this, but I'm the one that people can find. And, I, and I'm happy to be found. I just didn't think I'd be found this much this quickly. <laughs> Sonk learned to knit when she was five and has a background in advertising. The store exists completely online, with sales split between Etsy and knityourdog.com. I did spend a good amount of time doing the SEO, and I think that's the difference between me and most people who do this, is that I did the SEO. That's how people found it. She's been featured in publications like WGN News, 60 Second Docs, and Hack Your Life. Sonk says all that attention can sometimes be a double-edged sword. We should all have such problems, <laughs> but you know, it is, it is a problem. Because, and, and, and people get frustrated, they want their stuff yesterday. This is not going to happen yesterday anyway. This is, from start to finish, an entirely custom, handmade product. From shed to shirt, each item can take months to produce. And Sonk's had to hire a team of artisans to keep up with demand. The minute we started getting a lot of social media attention, I knew we needed to bring on at least more spinners. Um, I didn't realize the knitting backlog was going to be as heavy as it was, too. If you're watching this and thinking, who in the world would buy a poncho made of dog hair? You are not the target market. So who is? It's customers who realize they're about to lose their dog and want to have something to keep that they'll always have with them. I mean, one of the first shipments we got was a four and a half pound bag of brushings from a Samoyed who had been gone for years. And the owner had said, I told everyone in my family that someday they were gonna get a hat and mittens from our dog, and now they are. Most people aren't buying dog hair sweaters because they love dog hair. They do it because they love their dog and Sunk is confident she knows how to reach those customers. I know exactly where I want to advertise and how, but that's going to have to wait until the margins are sufficient. But she doesn't seem to be in any hurry. Knit Your Dog is still catching up with demand after a string of viral videos. This is really always going to be one-to-one -one pieces, and there are always going to be humans who love their dogs that much. 